No, it's quiet there this morning, uh, but later it's going to be a hive of activity as everybody gathers to say goodbye to the guys. Thank you very much, Dan. Well, you actually took the words straight out of my mouth. It is very quiet. You can hear the birds tweeting here at this venue. It's Monte Casino. It's the open arena with restaurants looking out. And they've set it all up because this is where Johannesburg and South Africa will bid farewell and good luck to the Springboks ahead of the Rugby World Cup 2015. It is seven days to go before the quadrennial rugby showpiece actually kicks off in the UK. The Springboks' first match, however, is going to be in Brighton against Japan on the Saturday. We have got lots of reports from the team. It looks as if on the injury front, the team are really starting to come together and those injuries are starting to subside. We had coach Hanika Meyer saying that he's not too worried now about the injuries for the team and he does believe he will have a full strength squad to select from for that opening match against Japan. That is very, very good news for South Africa. There has been lots of speak leading up to this moment, leading up to the rugby world. Cup. Many people uh, weighing in on the political transformation rugby debate, but really, as we heard from the Saru present, now is the time to get behind the Springboks. And from this Friday on, every single Friday, and of course, when the Springboks play, everybody is going to be donning their green and gold, and they're going to be showing the Springboks that they are behind them as they go to try and win what would be a third Webb Ellis Cup. So it's very quiet here. But out on the streets in northern Johannesburg at four different intersections, we've got different celebrities that are also wearing their Springbok shirts and they're trying to help newspaper sellers of the Star newspaper who are also wearing their Springbok shirts to sell papers. And this is all really to kickstart this party that we'll be having later on right here at Monte Casino. So we're not going to be too long here in this quiet venue at Monte Casino. We're actually going to be getting out onto the streets and seeing what those celebs are doing to show their support for the Springboks.